Remove the tail from the body cavity. You want to twist it, okay? Liquid, so. You see, you don't get a lot of meat out of these guys. That's why it's so incredibly pricey, okay? For the tail, you want to take these off. But again, remember this twisting motion. bottom of the tail to make this little opening, okay? You just push, right, and once it's free. Okay. Again, just like a shrimp. Also, you know, if you're doing this, you can have like a little bowl of ice water. Show your hands off. Is very stringy. If you make like a lobster salad, you can kind of chop that up or something and dice it up. But for today, just gonna get rid of it. You can see it's just a little opaque here, right? So it's still just a tiny bit undercooked. It's exactly what we're looking for, okay? Turn that off. Thank you so much. All right, so remove the rubber band. And again, now this is hopefully what you want to do is because. There's a cartilage in both parts, okay? And the cartilage that comes to the top of the claw goes through like the center of the meat. So again, what you want to try to do is don't pull it down and out. Break it off, go left and right. Okay, get it loosened up. And then if you're lucky, if I get this right, I'm just gonna walk out like Elvis has left the building, okay? Ah, uh, see how awesome I am? Okay, nice. Then hopefully you get this out, this cartilage here, when you take out the bottom claw because if you don't, that is in the center of your claw and then you have to kind of cut the claw in half to get that removed, okay? Take towel, use the back of your knife, give it a little whack, you hear it crack. And be gentle. And this is the knuckle meat, very delicious meat in here. When I become a billionaire, I'm going to have people just serve me the knuckle meat. This is like the best part. Seriously, this is like my favorite part of the whole lobster, this texture in here. And here you can just use your scissors. Help get it started. And not only do these have a very low yield, I mean lobsters maybe 40% if you're lucky. So if you have a one and a quarter pound lobster, I mean if you get eight ounces of meat out of the whole thing, you're lucky. And they're a huge pain in the, you know what, I'm with labor intense, you know? So this is why they charge you a small fortune when you go to a restaurant, because this is a chef's kiss to death in the food cost department, you know? This guy was a little old, right? See how the claw is much smaller than the shell? 
and all this like white meat. He's definitely been in the tank a week or two, you know? Which, you know, still gonna taste pretty darn good, but 